What we're doing today is we are putting on a time capsule. The time capsule is digital disks with wonderful information on them. So we've got technical information about the spacecraft, but we've also got pictures of the Israeli public as they took them on the background of the spacecraft model. We've got drawings that Israeli kids drew for the spacecraft, knowing they would go to the moon. We've got Israeli songs and the flag and a lot of the world's history and culture on it. So we are going to be leaving a wonderful piece of memorabilia on the moon. Who knows, maybe in 50 or 500 or 5,000 years, someone else from somewhere else will come by and put them out and manage to read them and say, wow, this is great. The spacecraft's finished a long series of tests, and it's almost ready for shipping. We are waiting for the launch. It's going to be a difficult, arduous journey to the moon. We're doing it in a difficult manner. There are straightforward approaches to getting to the moon. You can put it on a big rocket and go straight there, but we don't have a big rocket, so we're taking the long way. It'll take us about a month and a half to get there, and there are a lot of difficulties on the way, and it's going to be a challenging landing. So we look forward to getting to the moon a bit later this year. And it's probably going to be one of the most exciting moments ever. We have a small country, we don't have a lot of manpower. We have to invent stuff and use our head. And this is what led us to build the technologies. And also the space technology in Israel, for example, is because we had no choice. Israel builds smaller and, say, and lighter satellites than anywhere in the world in this facility because we are launching them from Israel. And we're launching from Israel on the opposite direction of the rotation of Earth, okay? Which is harder. It's harder to take the same size, the same mass uh, into space when you're not using the rotation of the Earth. You're on the other side, which led us to build smaller and lighter satellites because we couldn't take the big ones from here. So this is a special time capsule. We cannot uh, take like a DVD that you have at home uh, because it would break in the space conditions. So we had to take specialized materials and uh, to make that disc. So this is uh, uh, something that is actually pretty unique in the technology. And uh, our hopes is it's going to last for millions and millions of years.